Right. I believe every one of you has heard the sound of an ambulance before, probably wondering what it's about, but then going back to your own concerns. But what happens if suddenly you or your loved ones are inside that ambulance? In that moment, everything changes, and only one concern remains. How do I get back on my feet as soon as possible? Studies have shown that after emergency treatment, Early mobilization is essential to accelerate patient recovery and to reduce the risks for secondary complications such as loss of muscle mass or bone density. But what does early mobilization mean? It means moving the patient and putting them back on their feet as soon as possible, ideally making them walk. Studies suggest that the biggest impact is achieved by providing this therapy three times a day for 20 minutes. And with this intervention, hospitals would become a lot more efficient as they could treat more patients with the existing infrastructure. In reality, however, most hospitals cannot provide this degree of early mobilization because they simply lack the staff or the patients are too severely affected to be easily mobilized. And unfortunately, it is only going to get worse. The two global trends of aging societies and a growing lack of nurses create an ever widening gap between people requiring care and people providing it. And in order to close this gap, our healthcare systems have to become more efficient, for example, by using technology. So this is exactly what our team at Reactive Robotics did. We developed Vimotion, the world's first AI-driven robotic assistance system for early mobilization in the intensive care unit. But how does it work? Our Vimotion system consists of a mobile intelligent robotic part and several verticalizable intensive care beds. The robot connects to the foot end of the bed and to the legs of the patient. And with just one click from one person, the bed can then be verticalized and the patient is walked directly in bed, making mobilization easy for nurses and our system even automatically adjusts to the abilities of each patient. Marta, for example, had severe neurologic impairment after brain tumor surgery. She had to learn moving, eating and even breathing again. She couldn't even tolerate sitting for more than three minutes. But now, with the help of our emotion, she's walking up to 90 minutes in bed with over 1,000 steps. And in order to help more patients like Marta, let's take a look at the business side. Currently, Reactive Robotics has three different income streams. The rental and the sale of the emotion system and its consumables, the servicing of the existing devices, and the licensing of the AI software. And for the future, we are working on a pay-per-use model to make investments easier for hospitals. Our system is already in the market, and we've treated over 400 patients with more than 4,000 therapies in five different countries, and there's currently no relevant competition. We are CE and MDR certified, as well as FDA exempt. Our self-learning algorithm, Assist as Needed, has won the European Tech Transfer Award in 2021, and we've recently been accepted as a project for the European Innovation Council. Our, our um, global total addressable market is over 27 billion euros, and we've already generated revenues in excess of 1 million euro over the last two years. But now let's take a look into the future. What will be our next steps? We are focused on three main approaches, constantly updating our priorities with an OKR process. Approach number one is building up hospital reference centers and partnering with established distributors to drive market expansion with focus on Europe and the US. Approach number two is centered around gathering clinical data, not only through large-scale clinical studies, but also by using and analyzing our collected therapy data and matching it with the patient's recovery progress. This will allow us to provide an even more personalized therapy and it will strengthen our case to eventually include robotic mobilization into the healthcare reimbursement system. Approach number three is constant innovation. We are redesigning our system to reduce costs and we're working on including the whole patient journey into um, our project. So from intensive care through geriatrics and home care. That all sounds pretty amazing, but what challenges are we facing? Clinicians immediately see the benefit of our emotion system and want a trial period. 
Offering this for free, however, is currently too resource intensive for us. Convincing commercial directors, on the other hand, is tough due to the limited amount of money available in the sector and the long buying cycles of up to three years. So the make or break point for us is to demonstrate the immediate impact live on site for only a small monetary contribution. And this is exactly where the SIT could help us. With a prize money of 100,000 euros, we could organize up to 15 additional trials treating 120 patients with more than 1,200 additional therapies. This allows us to also collect more clinical data and is the best way to show the impact that our system actually has. With this additional traction, um, it will be this additional traction will be essential to convince commercial directors as well as potential new investors. And over the next 10 years, every sold system could make a difference in the lives of another 1,500 patients. So help us realize our vision. We want to enable every healthcare professional to easily provide individualized early mobilization therapy. This way, we can support the healthcare systems in becoming more efficient and therefore preventing the looming healthcare collapse. Together, we can make sure that every loved one will get out of the hospital as soon as possible. Thank you for listening. This was Max and Mona from Reactive Robotics with Emotion. Keep walking. Thank you.